Within the Jersey City shed, the engine coughs and shakes its head. The smoke, a plume of red and white, waves madly in the face of the night. And now the grave and curious stars gleam on the groaning, hurrying cars. Against the kind and awful rain of darkness, this our angry train, a noisy little rebel pouts its brief defiance, flames and shouts and passes on and leaves no trace. For darkness holds its ancient place, serene and absolute, the king unchanged of every living thing. The houses lie obscure and still in Rutherford and Carton Hill. Our lamps intensity the dark of slumbering Passaic Park. Our, and quiet holds the weary feet that daily tramp through Prospect Street. What though we clang and clank and roar through all of Passaic streets? No door. No door will open. Not an eye will see who this loud vagabond may be. Upon my crimson cushioned seat, in manufactured light and heat, I feel unnatural and mean. Outside the towns are cool and clean. Curtained a while from sound and sight, they take God's gracious gift of night. The stars are watchful over them, on Clifton as on Bethlehem. The angels leaning down the sky shed peace and gentle dreams. And I, I ride, I blasphemously ride through all the silent countryside. The engines shriek, the headlights glare, pollute the still nocturnal air. The cottages of Lakeview sigh and sleeping, frown as we pass by. Why? Even Strident Patterson rests quietly as any nun. Her foolish, warring children keep the grateful armistice of sleep. For what tremendous errand's sake are we so blatantly awake? What precious secret is our freight? What king must be abroad so late? Perhaps death roams the hills tonight, and we rush forth to give him fight. Or else, perhaps we speed his way to come remote unthinking prey. Perhaps a woman rides in pain and listens, listens for the train. The train with healing on its wings. Now, Hawthorne, the conductor cries. My neighbor starts and rubs his eyes. He hurries yawning through the car and steps out where the houses are. This is the reason of our quest. Not wantonly we break the rest of town and village, nor do we lightly profane night's sanctity. What love commands, the train fulfills. And beautiful upon the hills are these our feet of burnished steel. Subtly and certainly I feel that Glen Rock welcomes us to her and silent Redwood seems to stir and smile because she knows the train has brought her child back home again. We carry people home and so God speeds us wheresoever we go. Hohokus, Waldwick, Allendale lift sleep sleepy heads to give us hail and Ramsey, Mahwa, Suffer and stand houses that wistfully demand a father, son, some human thing, that is, this midnight train may bring. The trains that travel in the day, they hurry folks to work or play. The midnight train is slow and old, but of its let this thing to be told. To its high honor be it said, it carries people home to bed. My cottage lamp shines white and clear. God bless the train that brought me here.